If you want to use cups, I'm going to show you how to make holes very easy. You just cut the sides. You cut three holes and it only takes a few seconds. These are cucumbers. We had a thunderstorm for a week so we couldn't plant them outside. That's why they are too long. But I'm going to show you how to make support when they are too long. So you just get a plastic fork. And I shove it in there. And you place the cucumbers inside so the fork supports them. You can use this fork to support strawberries because strawberries are heavy. So if you don't want them to fall on the ground and get dirty, then you can support them with the forks. If your plant is too thick to fit in the fork, you can just blend them out. This is a grow bag. It costs about 50 to 60 cents. And they are white on the outside and black on the inside. You want to use white ones on the outside when it's warm weather so the roots doesn't cook because the black ones can get really hot. This is a polymailer. You can get them on eBay in bulk or in small amounts. They cost about five cents each. And they're very, very strong. And I'm going to show you how to make holes on them. So they are basically the same as the other one. But a lot cheaper. And there you have it your own self-made grow bag. And here's one smaller. Fold it and cut the corners. You can buy different sizes and they are always reusable. You can find bigger sizes, four times bigger than this. They are good for up to 10 gallons. This is a two gallon bag and you can use dwarf tomatoes, peppers, cabbage, lettuce, Brussels sprouts. This is a lettuce mix. I planted them a week ago and this is the smallest bag I use. It costs about three to five cents. And the lettuce mix can be planted in small bags because they grow very fast. In 50-60 days, you'll have the lettuce ready. With these small bags, you can fill the empty spaces between other plants. And by placing them all in a one box, you can easily transport them from shade, the sun, or indoors if it's raining up. This Tabasco plant is about 5 months old. You need to shake them when they're flowering if you want a lot of peppers. You can see how much space this method saves. One roll, one variety. I call these the burrito rolls. The rolls that the foam has in it keeps the warmth inside very nicely so they grow very strong during the night. I write the names on the spoons on both sides just in case one side gets ruined. In one roll, there's almost as many plants as the cups here. You can see how much space you need with the cups and how little space you need with the rolls.